Hey guys, Super Gadget Guy here. Today I'll be unboxing the Spider Black Widow holster. So this is a holster, not for a pistol, but for a camera. Um, as you can see the picture, it's for a compact camera or a Micro Four Third or mirrorless uh, DSLRs. Not for full size, but for pretty small ones. Um, they do have the um, sort of Spider Pro camera holster for a full size DSLR uh, but this is for a compact camera um, I decided to purchase this because I saw my friend was using something similar um, I didn't ask him which brand it is so I just find on Amazon that the one that has one of the highest rating uh, to use with my Sony Nex7 so here it is comes in a very painful to open package so hopefully I don't cut myself this time okay so this is the very basic startup kit they do sell the um, some additional accessories to go with it um, one of the interesting ones I saw is actually a thin plate where you can install on the camera so you can still use the um, the quick release so you can use on the tripod and this at the same time there also sells a back strap which is like a paddle um, so it's a padded so it doesn't you know bump against you um, if you have to do some extreme running or walking so here it is um, shows the back very durable plastic on the back shows you quick draw uh, Seems like a concept from guns. Not recommended for professional cameras. Please use our Spider Pro model. So this is not for a full size DSLR, but for compacts. Okay. Get to that. So here it is. Uh, this one retails for $49.99. Um, so basically it loops through the belt. So this is what it's like on the side of you um, and to release it you have to push the lever up and this part comes off and to host it so and then locks it so it's better to demonstrate once I um, install this onto the Sony Next 7 which I still need to have find time to do a review video of so yeah be standard threaded uh, just tighten it up. might not be the best tool to use feels plenty tight so here it is um, installed onto the Sony next um, the potential issue that I can see is basically your camera no longer lies flat so you have to somehow of course it's removable um, so to use it with a holster basically thread your belt through it and or if you want to put it like that, very still feel free to rotate it. And it's supposed to balance it out. And then when you need to use it, just one hand lift up the safety switch and then or the camera release and then it's ready to be used right away. So very durable. Uh, seems like a very neat design. So let's look at the holster. Um, it's entirely made out of plastic except for the bottom portion which is actually sort of wrapped around the metal. Not actually all metal, it's just reinforced metal a little bit. I don't know how durable this piece is. Seems very um, flimsy. and. 
I guess a little bit awkward if you are left-handed. Um, so if you put the holster on the right side, it's very natural to use the left hand to do the lifting and then you pop the camera out with your right hand, basically. But if you want to use the holster on the left side, I guess it's still very similar. I have to try that out to see which side works better for you for me. Um, so this is basically what you get for $50 and they do so additional pin to attach with either another camera or a camcorder for about $13, $12.99. So it's definitely not cheap but um, I really like the overall design um, of it so you can carry a camera on you without worry about so much. Maybe I don't even need the straps anymore, the neck straps because that seems kind of ridiculous with this hanging out but you can definitely sort of tuck that in the, inside the pocket or something or just remove it all com completely. So here you have it. Um, this is the Spider Black Widow Quick Draw camera. There you go. Here it is. Alright, thanks for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions. Post in the comment section and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.